What's going on you guys, this is MXKDI, I have another Dell uh, Optiplex 7010 mini tower upgrading the power supply and the video card and I'll show you guys how to do that so remove the side cover panel first off we're going to start off the power supply okay there are four screws on the back here of the power supply and use a Phillips screwdriver remove the screws here the four of them and what you're going to do is uh, disconnect the 24 pin for the power 24 pin hard drive power 4 pin and optical drive disconnect that and uh, there's secure lock right here press it down to release the power supply otherwise the power supply doesn't come off you have to press it down secure lock to release the power supply with the flathead screwdriver and remove the power supply the power supply is in here is a 275 watt and I'm upgrading to 450 watt NTEC it's a 450 watt NTEC Power supplies I like guys is uh, the car, car says really good. C Sonic, my favorite. Uh, Thermal Tech, Cooler Master, pretty good. And Antec, those are the top brands I like. And if you guys are gonna be doing it for gaming, then just go with the with the C Sonic, like a 500 watt or a 500 watt car set, pretty good power supply. And connect the four pin right here. And the 24 pin we just connected right here. Now we're gonna connect the for the hard drive for the power and the optical drive connect the optical drive in here really easy and So yeah, we connect all the cables now, get the four screws back and reconnect uh, the, connect the screws back for the power supply. And I'm going to use the wire tires later to manage the, manage the wires, so we'll be clean your wire tires here later. So now I'm going to install the power of the video card. To do that, I'm going to move the computer so you guys could see it. Okay, so I'm going to measure... Uh, what kind of video card I can install here? Let me just move it up. You guys can see better. Okay, let's see. Where's my tape measurement? Okay, so so let's install the video card. I would say about seven inches, seven and a half inches, like the video card. If you guys are gonna install here, the biggest. Because otherwise, if you're going to go over 8 inches, you're going to be blocking the SATA core por uh, ports here. And the cables have to be installed as L-shaped SATA cables. Those are just a flat one. You can install the l shape because if you're going to go over 8 inches, you're going to be blocking the ports here, the, the, the SATA ports. And if it's going to be over 8 inches, uh, you have to install an l shape. But if you install around 7 inches, it's going to be right here. Then you're perfectly fine. If you cards around 7 inches, it work perfectly fine. You don't have to install l shape SATA Four cables here, but uh, so let's remove the over here the PCI bracket and install the video card through PCI Express X16 slot. That's the blue one right here, the top one. I'm installing the video card here. It's got the DVI via HDMI and VGA. This is just for the dual monitor, but it's not like for gaming video card. And it's but you, if you guys are gonna be installed for gaming, then just go at least 500 watt power supply. So we're gonna connect the power up the video card, and there's a secure lock right here. That's it. So that's it, guys. We installed the power supply and the video card upgrade. This is for the Dell Optiplex 7010 Mini Tower. Thanks for watching. Bye.